right, we are working on a picture that is inspired by Jim Dine's Four Hearts painting. And we're going to start with a white piece of paper. And we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to fold it in half again. So we have four even rectangles. Okay, at the bottom we want to write our name. And then we're going to draw four hearts. So, are they going to be perfect? No. We're just going to try our best. Right, and then I'm going to color in one half at a time. These are my quick sticks, temper paint sticks. I'm going to do first half of this heart here with red, and I'm going to color in half of it. And then I'm going to switch to orange. Ooh, that one's rolled up a little bit too much. So these are kind of like um, using a glue stick where you want to make sure that you roll it back down after you're done. And you just roll up a little bit. We don't need to use a lot. We just have a little bit sticking out. So when I close it up and cap it tightly, I'm going to make sure that I roll it back down. This one's yellow. So these are really nice for coloring in big areas. And you kind of get that look of a painting without using paints. So Jim Dine's art is called Four Hearts, and it's an example of pop art. The word pop comes from the word popular. So hearts are popular. They are something that we all recognize. Something that we all recognize is something that is popular, something that we all know. We all know what hearts look like, what a heart shape is, so it's popular. one here, my last little side, I did pink. Okay, and then I colored in the background around each part. So this can kind of help you even out your edges. And you don't have to color it in completely solid, you can leave a little bit of white space. That is completely fine. And because your um, drawing was done with pencil instead of um, permanent marker like mine, you will probably um, have an easier time of covering up those pencil lines with your paint sticks. So I can see that my um, permanent marker line is showing through a little bit, but it's not bad.
Okay, and what you end up with is a beautiful painting that's actually a drawing.